I thank you guys. I, I work for Ellen. They use me on air sometimes, and uh, I've only ever been recognized in public once, but it really let me know like where I fall on the fame scale. <laughs> Because I was out at a bar and this girl comes up to me and she goes, Oh my gosh, I've seen you on Ellen, can I get a picture with you? And I said, sure, and she stood next to me and handed me her phone. And I reached out to try to get a selfie of us and nothing happened. And I go, oh, it says your memory is full, you'll have to delete a picture to make room. And she takes her phone and she goes, mm, nah. <laughs> and walks away. It's the kind of star power you're dealing with. You know? I always try to like dress nice when I'm performing and then it just winds up looking like I stole the outfit from Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to look good as a guy though because our bodies are just not attractive. Like, like women are naturally good looking. In any situation, a woman's body always looks better than a man. If you don't believe that, just look at like the sexy outfits that people wear. Like the sexiest thing a woman can wear is lingerie, which is basically nothing at all. The sexiest thing a man can wear is a three-piece suit. <laughs> Just layers and layers of material covering every inch of his horrible body. And then just to be safe, it's literally tied around his neck to make sure it doesn't fall off. I'm from the East Coast originally. I went to uh, Penn State University. And that doesn't get loose very often these days. So most of my family went to Penn State, so for a long time, all of my Facebook profile pictures were like me in a Penn State t-shirt or me next to a Penn State logo. And then the whole Jerry Sandusky scandal happened. So I decided I better change my profile picture. And this is absolutely true. At the time, I decided to change it to a picture I had taken with Elmo and the guy who did his voice, Kevin Clash. And then a couple months later, he got arrested for the same thing as Jerry Sandusky. And I realized anything I photograph magically turns into a child molest. So maybe that girl who didn't want a selfie dodged a bullet. <laughs> I was watching the news today, they said the, uh, the unemployment rate in this country has hit an eight-year low. People are finally getting back to work. Which sounds like, it sounds like a good thing at first, but as far as I can tell, it's just because everyone became an Uber driver. <laughs> like, President Obama wants you to think this country is creating jobs, but they're not. This country created one job, which is Uber driver, and everyone signed up for it. So now our entire economy is based on the fact that we take turns giving each other a ride to the airport in exchange for the same $30. Because literally everyone, no matter what they do, their fallback plan is to become an Uber driver. Which is weird, because when I was in philosophy class studying Nietzsche, they taught us that an Uberman was someone who could accomplish anything. But in the real world, it turns out an Uberman is someone who's failed at everything. And there's still lots of unemployed people in this country. I got in an argument with a homeless man the other day. I, I'm not proud of it, but it happened. I, I was walking. He didn't even ask me for change. He goes, hey, buddy, you got the time? And I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't. And I kept walking. And he goes, what do you mean, asshole? You're wearing a watch. And I turned around. I was like, I'm not an asshole. My watch battery is dead. And he goes, well, why are you wearing it? I said, because I don't need the watch to tell time. There's clocks everywhere. The watch is just an expensive status symbol to show that I have more money than people like... You're right, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I got back from my summer vacation a few weeks ago. I took a road trip in New Zealand, which was amazing. It's beautiful, but very dangerous. Because the roads are very narrow and windy, plus there's sheep on the loose everywhere. So you come around a turn and you're like, oh my gosh, there's 50 sheep in the road. No, 51, 52, and then you fall asleep and crash. <laughs> I was driving the other day, I saw a pro-life bumper sticker. It said, babies get hiccups even before they're born. Which is true, and I do not support abortion, but I bet a visit to Planned Parenthood would scare those hiccups away. <laughs> I like that one because it's a pro-life joke that offends pro-life people. It just alienates everybody. I, I am pro-life though, because I'm pretty conservative and religious. I know a lot of people don't believe in God anymore, but I hear stories all the time that reaffirm my faith in God. Like I heard about this bus driver who got mugged and they shot him, but his life was saved because the bullets were stopped by a Bible in his pocket. That is a miracle. That God blessed that man with ridiculous Bible-sized pockets. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the rest of the show.